Mele Kalikimaka and Aloha! Welcome to Smartwatch Ticks. We're a YouTube channel on the web at smartwatchticks.com. Merry Christmas, everybody. It's Christmas all around the world. Many of you are getting a smartwatch for Christmas, and all kinds are out there. We have a special setup guide today for those of you getting flagship watches, in particular Android-based watches. This is a Wear OS-based watch. They're both Android of sorts, but they operate differently. In just a moment, I'm going to repeat a guide we already put up. It's short, but it's important if you're going to set up your Android smartwatch to be most efficient and effective. And throughout the year on our channel, we're going to introduce little tips and tricks for you that you'll be able to implement to get the best out of your watch. But let's start here. This is a specialized watch face I put together out of bits and pieces all over the web. You're looking at the ambient always on screen. I have the twist your wrist turned off, but I can touch it to activate it. When I do, it comes in color, gives you the date and all sorts of stuff. When it times out, back to ambient. They're all set specifically so you can see it indoors without being too bright and outdoors. You can actually still read it in the ambient mode. Of course, this is the dual layer tick watch that um, you can have the LCD screen on it as well for super low power. But I digress. I want to let you know that I've got this particular watch face available for you. Double tap and I've got a special launcher in here that you can turn on and off all kinds of things. You've got a flashlight control. You've got um, speedometer if you're riding in your car and set it up. Now these are all apps you have to install and they're free and you can get them if you want to. Um, but it's all available. You can go into edit mode and you can add pages to this and have page after page. You can just basically replace having to touch your button. It's really, really a sweet watch face. Going to have a link for you uh, in just a little bit at the very end of our review uh, to how you can get this one. In the meantime, this Optimus Pro, very uh, high-end flagship uh, watch face. Also, you can... Uh, uh, touch different things like turning on and off the flashlight. That's why I bent the flash up here so you could see that it works. You've got uh, touch control on changing the brightness of your screen, whatever you'd like it to be. It'll adjust to that. These watch faces and many others are already available. This one's made by Alrod, and I'll have a link in the show notes on how you can get it, okay? Let me summarize before we go into the setup, guys, that it's uh, real important that you do and follow the procedures to get the most out of your watch. And that's what we're going to go step by step. In terms of the tick watch now, if you don't have one yet, I'd like to remind you that no matter how and where you get it, make sure when you get there, especially through the Moboy store, that you um, put in this coupon code, KISSZOD, K-I-S-Z-O-D, going to get you an extra 5% off of your purchase. Just put it in there try it you should see five percent come off even if it's on discount or just use this link bit.ly slash tick watch five off and that'll get you right there to the entire line of tick watches and their best sale prices they have going on now in terms of getting this watch face <laughs> i'm gonna stick it in a um playlist uh, area or actually in a folder on a google drive where i have some other um, wear os faces i've created for you guys not as sophisticated as this one but it'll be there at the smartwatch resource center go to tinyurl.com slash android watches That'll get you to the whole thing and look for um, Wear OS watch faces and this one will be in there for you to download. But you need a Wear OS watch to install it, okay? And finally, in terms of the Android watches, in addition to the setup guide, all the little tips and tricks are in little one-minute um, playlists here. Um, tinyurl.com slash one-minute smartwatch tips is a... Full playlist of a bunch of these. I keep adding to those too. Before you even use this thing, I suggest you go through those tips. It won't take you very long. All right, you ready? We're going to do a special setup video for you. If you just got a brand new flagship Android smartwatch phone, like this Optimus 2 with the amazing 
camera module at the top that flips up, or any of them, especially if they have the dual processors for Android and for low power or light use, you're going to want to watch this video. We are going to cover an over-the-air update. We're going to cover what you should do afterwards in terms of factory restore, basically erasing everything on the watch and configuring it back again. We're going to show you all that pretty quickly. So um, yeah, have at it. If you are interested in this watch or any of the watches you'd like to buy, we really appreciate it if you use the links we provide for you. Just check in the show notes and click on over there and pick one of these puppies up. When you get it, make sure first of all, you unbox it, you charge it, okay? Charge it. Make, get as much power as you can overnight if you can. Then come on back here and follow the guide and you can get yourself set up so it'll really, really work well for a long time. Here we go. So, well, nice and loud, I press the button to get it started, and we are booting up in our brand new first run on this watch. Uh, you saw the startup logo briefly, the little flashy things, and now it says Android as it loads the Android system, and we get ready to um, take it to the next level. Head over to your app, scroll all the way down to settings, should be easy to find. First thing you do, network and internet. Make sure that you have your Wi-Fi turned on. You can go into it. Your uh, uh, router should show up here. You can put in your password and get yourself connected. I'm connected right now. After that, what you want to do is scroll all the way down here to the very bottom to About Watch. In About Watch, you'll have information related to your build numbers and firmware and everything. You don't really need to bother with that, but um, you can if you'd like to. What you do want to do, though, is hit Wireless Update. Now, if you've been on Wi-Fi and you do that and there is an update waiting, you probably received a notification, which is what happened to me, which is why I'm able to show you this process. If you just started and you didn't get a notification, then down at the bottom it'll say to check or it'll just start checking automatically. If you do have a new version available, you'll get a screen that looks like this. And down at the bottom it says first download then we'll do an install so you want to download it you could either pause it or you could uh, cancel it and it counts the percentage of the way through when it gets up to a hundred percent like that we get different information down here now if it's off the screen of course you can press and hold change it from circle to square and now it's more readable you can install it now or you can install it later let's install it gives you a little warning you want to make sure your device is uh, charged up and ready to go and let it let it go here we go it's now shutting down and then we'll completely install brand new firmware and we'll see what we got we're about halfway through now, installing system update. Now when it's complete, it's going to reboot itself again. Now, this is something you don't normally see. It's something new when you have these different processors in here. We've got firmware upgrade, okay. Current battery level, make sure the power is above 30%. Plug in the charger. And you have to do this second step. The upgrade process is about 30 seconds, but you got to do this and don't don't skip it and don't uh, mess with it when it's happening. Oh, here we go. We're going to um, press the button. It's upgrading. Like I said, about 30 seconds, so it should go pretty quickly. Now, again, we have two different processors in here, a high-end Android processor, tends to be battery hungry, but gives you all that, what, octa-core processing, quad-core, octa, a lot of them on this one. I get them so confused. Uh, anyway, it, uh, it eats a lot of power, but it delivers a lot of bang for the buck. And the, the other processor as well, that the uh, system can hand off most of the background Android functions to, like your clock 
uh, timing uh, the watch faces, the fitness activities, the heart rate stuff, um, alarms, all of that. And when that's all that's needed, that uh, special light mode, uh, when you put it in there, will migrate all that over and you just use that secondary processor. But we've got firmware that is affecting two different ways of this watch operating and the integration, kind of like the left and right hemispheres of your brain. An update requires a little bit extra, so make sure you go through all of these steps to get it done. How's that for eating up 30 seconds? Okay, it has been updated. We hit the check mark and we're in our watch face. Awesome, but we're not done yet. Okay, it's giving me a crazy date, not right now and not right here, um, without doing anything. Now, I know you may have a bunch of other stuff already installed. Let's see if my custom apps are here way down at the bottom. Yeah, it left everything in here. We'll be talking about these, of course. Um, but we're going to we're gonna do this anyway because uh, it's a really smart thing to do. That's why you want to do this at the very beginning when you're setting your watch up. We're, we're going to wipe it all out. We're going to wipe it all out and start all over with a system restore. You saw that. I went to system. I'm going to reset options and I'm going to erase everything. It's a factory reset, erase all data. Really highly recommend you do that whenever you get a firmware upgrade on especially this high-end flagship watch with dual processors in it because there can be residual stuff left over that isn't cleaned out and you could get erratic performance. You could end up having some kernel of code that's going to drain your battery in the background that you can't get rid of. So just do it and let it erase everything. Then we start from the beginning. Okay, we have rebooted it, we have flashed it, we have done a factory restore, and now we're ready to configure it. Now quickly, you're gonna to wanna to go into your settings, you're gonna to wanna to go into network, you're gonna to wanna to set up your Wi-Fi. You're going to want to go into settings, you're gonna to wanna to scroll down to display, you're going to want to increase the time to something more than 10 seconds. I made it 10 minutes for our purposes here. Suggest you go into sound, go all the way down, turn off the dial pad and the sound on, uh, power on sounds if you want to, uh, so you're not annoyed by that as you continue to reboot the thing. Uh, then you're going to want to go over to the Play Store and in the Play Store, get that whole thing all set up with your Google account. Then go into um, the uh, app update area, which you get to from up here. And of course, it shows you your account information. You go into My Apps, and you'll see that you have three that need updating. Make sure you are on the internet, logged into your Google account, and then update those apps. And then we can actually begin to review the watch. So the full review is already up. Just go ahead and look for it here on our channel. Remember, you can always go to smartwatchticks.com, look for the little magnifying glass, enter whatever you're looking for, in this case, Optimus 2. Let it search. It'll find the videos for you. There you go. Now remember, if you want additional tips and tricks, we've got a playlist set up called One Minute Smartwatch Tips at tinyurl.com with a bunch of them. They're only a minute long, but they are critical. Like, how come my background apps turn off when the screen goes off and I can't get notifications? We got a fix for that. In one minute, it's worth your time. If you got the tick watch, or if you're going to play around with other things Android, uh, head on over to tinyurl.com slash Android Watches, the Smart Watch Resource Center, which is where I have got this particular watch face in there for you. If you like this, one. Oh, and by the way, check this out. I can come in here. I know, I know. We're running a little late. I'm going to kind of switch over here to the text version of the same watch face. Got the same information, basically. And this one, of course, you got your date and your time. And when it goes into ambient mode, uh, it gives you the time in text format along with the battery power on this one, which I really like. I added that so that I could kind of monitor how, how much power is left.
right here. So that's available. It's all two different watch faces, uh, two different approaches, and that's in the uh, Smartwatch Resource Center. Thanks for watching, gang. We have 2022, a bunch of watches coming in. We are on uh, TikTok now. We are on uh, China um, equivalent to YouTube um, that you can head over there and look at uh, replays of some of our videos that are subtitled in Chinese and English. A lot of things expanding. And really, it's all because of you and your subscriptions and your thumbs up and watching this channel. So have a great 2022, and we'll see you real soon.